Yo, 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 what it do, YouTube? It's your favorite pilot, Conscious Buddha, and we are back with episode 41 of our Howard University Dynasty Rebuild. You take a look here at the Heisman hopefuls, and they got Brian Moore from Texas, number two Texas, who is actually up next on our schedule, our biggest challenge of the season. We are on our way to trying to win a national championship this season, but we got a hurdle. Our star receiver, Lamar Milton, is serving a two-quarter suspension. We don't know what we got to do, but you know the rule is always next man up. Next man up to fill that void and try to make plays for our Howard offense. But we're going to get right into this game. Texas is on the kickoff. Mays is back on the return, number 82. Mays makes a big return, gets out to the open field, and we will have great field position to start off at the 35-yard line. Play action by Grimes. Grimes is dropping back, and he will take a big sack. That will push it back to the 24-yard line. Second and long, Grimes rolling to the right. Thrown across the middle, it's almost picked off. He was looking for Brendan Traina, almost picked off. Grimes has been a little bit better with the ball this year. Still too many turnovers through the first two games. But you see here, he will find Mays on the big third down. And that'll get Howard a first down, moving the ball. Big celebration. Like I said, next man up. Got to make the plays. Second and ten, five minutes left to go. Rodriguez will get the ball. He will get the corner. And Rodriguez, he was the offensive MVP last season. And you see why as he gets down near the 20-yard line. Howard is on the move. Second and 10. Play action by Grimes. Looking for a man. He's trying to find Mays. He's almost picked off for the second time this drive. Grimes rolling to his left. Looking into the end zone for Triena. And that's the third dropped interception of this drive. I don't know how they get so lucky. Howard will have to settle for three points there as Rollins will take the QB design run and get popped by Andriano. Second and eight for Texas. Rollins, play action. Looking back, has a man, will run over a defender, throws it across the middle and finds Smith. And Smith is in open space. He gets out past midfield. Big first down for Texas. We'll pick up here on third and three. The ball will get... He will actually get tackled by Jackson. He was looking for the fake fullback, halfback flip, but he will get tackled, and that will bring up the end of the drive. You see here, Howard's back on offense. Rodriguez gets nothing there. Second and 11. Grimes dropping back, rolling out to the right, looking for Tim Johnson. Tim Johnson gets out near midfield. Howard is looking pretty good without Lamar Milton. Lamar Milton's put up two Heisman caliber games to start the season. But without him here in this first half, Howard is still looking pretty good. Second and 10. Grimes on the play action. Has a man deep, and that is Mays. And Mays will make the grab and get into the end zone for the touchdown. That right there is a big play. Mays, the underclassman on this team. The third receiver, but he has stepped up into the starting role. He stepped up into the starting role in Lamar Milton's absence, and he catches the bomb here, the absolute bomb. He had the third and long grab, and then he gets a 55-yard touchdown reception there to put Howard up by 10. Texas is back on offense. Rollins is making some adjustments, and he will take off. He's a speedster, and he will get near the first down marker. That'll bring up third and inches for Texas. Texas looking to make a play, looking to get back in this game. Rollins scouting the defense. He will hand the ball off. Nope, it's a play action, and he will find Phillips. Phillips will get brought down by his face mask. That is a dirty play, and that is free yardage for Texas. Free yardage. We cannot make mistakes like that. Coach Milton has to be reeling on the sideline. First and 10. Pass to midfield. That ball will get thrown up to the Heisman candidate, Moore. Moore will get stripped, and it will get picked up by Smith. Smith will take it into the end zone, and that is a crazy play, but it gets Texas on the board. That is a crazy play. Third and eight here. Howard will take over. Grimes driving back, looking to make a play. Rolling to his right. Has a man. Has Mays on another big third down conversion. But this will be coming back. There was holding. It was holding on this play, and it's coming back. Mays almost had his second huge third down conversion of this game. Grimes now rolling to the left, looking for a man. He'll throw it up to Traina, but that ball goes out of bounds, and that is a three and out by Howard. Texas back on offense late in the first with the chance to tie the game or take the lead. Rollins dropping back. He'll take off, but gets sacked by Cumbie. Scott Cumbie with the big play there. Getting the sack, bringing up third and long. 
Phillips will make the catch and he will get stripped and that ball will get picked up by Jackson. Jackson makes his second big play of the game and just like that Howard is back on offense. Ball goes to Rodriguez. Rodriguez will get the first down on that carry. That's his second big run of the game. First and 10 from the 24. Grimes dropping back. Looking for a man. Rolling to his left. Will throw up a prayer. And Triana will make the grab in the back of the end zone right in front of the defender. That's two touchdown passes here early in the game for Reese Grimes. And Howard, this Howard offense is showing that even without Lamar Milton, they are able to make plays as Triana gets his first catch on the board and it goes for six. And that's just a beautiful spiral. Threw it to where only his receiver can get it. Texas will take over. Screenplay will go to Moore. Moore is wrapped up by Malik Milton. Doesn't get anything on that play. Second and seven. Howard has to really focus on bottling up that Heisman favorite. As Rollins will look for him again. And this time Malik Milton will get the interception. Breaks two tackles. Tries to get out in the space and he will get tackled near the 40-yard line. That's a big play by the former Heisman finalist Malik Milton. I don't know why his name fell off the list, but it did. Third and 18, you know that Grimes is going to be looking for Mays on this play. Grambling to his left, has Mays. Mays is wide open. Mays will get his second big third and long conversion of this game. That's now three catches for a buck six. Grimes, play action, finds Johnson across the middle. Johnson with his second grab of the game. These receivers are making plays for Grimes. Second and goal from the one. The ball will go to Rodriguez. Rodriguez will get bottled up. That'll bring up third and goal from the one-yard line. Grimes is dropping back. You know what he's going to do. He's just going to scramble out there and get into the end zone, making a play, and Howard will stretch this lead. And this is what happens. People sleep on this Howard team. They sleep on this Howard offense. Howard is now up 24-7 on the road against the number two team in the nation as Scott Cumbie gets his second sack of the game. Second and 11. The ball will get, that was another play action attempt, and this time another sack. Norwood, he had, he had the big force fumble earlier, now he gets the sack. It's third and 16, Rollins has nothing to do but scramble out right, and he will somehow get the first down, and Moore will get the recovery. That is luck there. Two and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Rollins is trying to get on the board before halftime, and he will find McIntosh. McIntosh gets the first down. They are down by 17 points. They have to make a play. It's second and six. Rollins, play action to the running back. Throws it across the middle to Smith, and Smith will get his second touchdown of the game, this time on a proper pass. His first touchdown came on a fumble recovery. This time he actually gets the ball thrown to him, and he will make the play. Gets into the end zone. Two catches, 66 yards. This most recent one going for six. Texas back in the game now. Only down by 10 points here late in the first half. Howard's got to put the foot back on the pedal here. Second and 11. Up by 10. Grimes will drop back. He doesn't have anything. He will take a sack. That'll bring up third and 24. Third and 24, Grimes on the road here, has to make a play, has to protect this ball as well, and he will throw the interception to Williams. I just gave him credit for being a little bit better with the ball this year, and there he is throwing an interception, and Texas has an opportunity to really shrink this lead. McIntosh will get the ball. He picks up close to five yards on that play. Third and four with a minute left. Texas down 10. This is a big game. This might be one of Howard's biggest matchups in Coach Milton's career. Rollins with the play action. Finds Phillips across the middle. Phillips takes the big hit. Holds on to the ball. Second and 14. 47 seconds left. Ball at the 22. Rollins making adjustments. He has time. He's dropping back. Scouting the field. Makes a short completion. You gotta think they're gonna run it up to the ball and clock it. 32 seconds left. Third and short. Rollins looking for a man. It will be caught at the start line by Smith. Smith has quietly been the star of this game. 16 seconds left. Rollins is going to take off. And Black is there for the tackle. Misses it. But Cumby. Cumby gets the touchdown saving tackle. And they will be held to a field goal there. As he tries a fast one here at the start of the second half. Tries to catch our cornerback slipping. And find him. But he will hit number 81 across the middle. He will hit Washington on the very next play. He tried to pull a fast one on Harris, catch him slipping. It got deflected, but he did get the completion across the middle. First and 15, Rollins will find the Heisman finalist Moore, and Moore will get the touchdown. 
Harris is getting picked on all game here. That's the second passing touchdown that Harris has let up. And just like that, that 17 point lead that Howard had is gone as Moore gets on the board his first touchdown of the game. Howard back on offense. Rodriguez will get the ball. He gets nothing. We do have Lamar Milton back. His first half suspension is up. He's back on the field. And you got to think that Grimes is going to be looking for him on this drive. But first, Grimes will get busy on the ground, picking up a first down. First and 10 from the 40. Grimes under center, dropping back. Looks for Milton, finds Milton. Milton there with a big grab for the first down. His first catch of the game. You got to think he's got to get this guy involved early. And he will with a deep pass to Milton. Lamar Milton gets on the board for his first touchdown of the game. And it's a big one. And it gives Howard the lead, 31 to 24. Just that fast. He was warming up on the sidelines all game. He gets into the game finally, and he makes his impact. His presence felt immediately with two big grabs on that drive. Howard's back up seven. Second and ten. Rollins will hand the ball off to McIntosh. And your boy, Zachary Norwood, is there. Fourth tackle of the game. He's been a menace all game. Third and ten. Howard's up seven. Rollins dropping back. Looking to the flats. Will hit McIntosh. McIntosh has no space. That ball will come right back to Howard. Man in motion, that's Chris Lawrence. He's been quiet all day, but he will get out there and lay some blocks for Rodriguez. And Rodriguez is in space, and Freddie Rodriguez will get his name on the board. And just that fast, Texas erases a 17-point lead to tie it up. Howard comes back out here with 14 unanswered points to go back up two scores. And it's Freddie Rodriguez. You cannot sleep on him. I want to say that these past two seasons, the run game has been the best it's ever been here in D.C., and plays like that as number two makes the drop there. That was Phillips dropping the ball there. Third and six here. The ball is up in the air. And Washington makes the grab in between two of our best defenders. And that was gutsy. Third and medium. Rollins will find Washington again. His receivers are making plays. The Texas receivers are making plays. Between Washington and number 81. Or, I mean, sorry, number 86, Smith, right here on this play. Texas is making some plays with their receivers. Moore has not had to do much, but that flag here will be a holding penalty. That'll be coming back. They will have to try again. It is now third and 11. Rollins dropping back. He's going to take off. He's brought down by the face mask. That would have been a sack, but he's brought down by the face mask. That's free yardage. That gives Texas a chance to get back in this game. Andriano can't make mistakes like that. Late in the third quarter, Rollins looking for a play. Norwood will get the interception here. He doesn't have that elite speed, but he will get down near the 41-yard line. And he will give Howard an opportunity to stretch this 14-point lead even more. Here's Howard offense is back. Man in motion. That's Chris Lawrence again. You got to know what they're doing. They're doing the counter play. Rodriguez will run a man over. If Lawrence had got out there and laid that block, that would have been touchdown number two for Rodriguez. But he's averaging seven and a half yards of carry here. It is second and medium early in the fourth he'll get the ball here make a man miss and grind out near the first down marker and on third and two coming out under center gotta think Rodriguez is going to get the ball again he does but he stood up in the backfield but he will power through for the first down that is grit and strength right there first and 20 after a holding penalty Grimes is rocked and he will fumble the ball but Boone is there for the recovery Third and 33 is the play call. Howard's up 14. Grimes has nothing. He will take another sack. And just like that, Texas will get the ball back. And you know only show pump returns when it's a big player or a turnover. Heisman finalist Moore is back there. But Norwood will get the forced fumble, his second of the game. And Chris Lawrence, who's been quiet, will get the recovery. Howard's at the 17-yard line, driving. And Milton will make another grab. That's his third catch of the game. Just that fast, he's getting involved here. Grimes dropping back. Going to his left. Looking for a man. He has Milton in his tip, and Milton will catch it and takes the late hit on the play. And he is injured. He is injured. That was a late hit, a cheap hit. He will get popped, and he will injure his shoulder on the play. We don't know how serious it is. We hope it's not too serious. Howard does go up by 21 points. But it sucks to lose Milton so soon after we just got him back. Third and seven. Rollins looking for a play. Goins is there on the sack. And this game is out of hand. I mean, we're up 21 points. There's not much that Texas could do here. And we will wrap up this victory 
48 to 30. You know, I think it was a well played 48 to 30. I mean, it got interesting there for a bit early in the second half. Texas was able to erase a 17 point deficit to tie it up, but we got our number one receiver back, Lamar Milton, in that third quarter, and we got two back to back scores. We got this long touchdown run with Freddie Rodriguez. We quickly drew that lead back out, and Texas wasn't able to keep up with us. Now, Milton did sustain an injury there. It will be just a matter of time until we find out how serious of an injury it was. We got Navy, Purdue coming up. Easy games. And then we got USC. USC should be another tough one. I'm hoping that we can crack the top 10. And I'm hoping that USC game, if we win that, we can be looking at a top five berth. And look at that last five games. LSU, Georgia Tech, Ohio State. I'm hoping that we could be looking at getting into the top three and potentially sneaking into the national championship game. We're an independent, so we don't get a conference title game. That hurts us, but maybe, just maybe, this could be the season, if we went out, that we can do what we need to do to get our first national championship. But we got to check on our boy Lamar Milton and see what's going on with him, to see how long we can expect him to be gone. I'm hoping it's not too bad because we really need this guy. He's our star, and damn. Seven weeks with a torn shoulder. This shit might just get interesting. All right, flight crew. It's your favorite pilot, Conscious Buddha. And if you are excited to see the last, final, explosive chapter of the Logan Wolf story, click on one of these two videos here to get caught up. That video will be dropping shortly here. You guys know the drill. Until next time, stay safe, stay conscious. I'm out of here. Peace.